this video is going to be a lot of swearing. Fuck me. Fuck. Hey everyone, this is Seca. Thanks for joining me in the broom closet. If you are returning, welcome back. If this is your first time here, I welcome you very much. Thank you for joining me. I honestly don't know if this video is going to make it to YouTube because every time I go to make it, I start off way up here and then I get way down here. So I've already recorded a little bit and I'm, as you can tell, a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> the broom closet has been kind of like a chronicling of my life the last four years and this is a big step and this is a big part of it. So I'm going to try and vlog our moving process. Some of you know that I've been... God damn it, Odin. We're moving. We are finally planning on moving and I'm really excited because we were supposed to move this year sometime in June 2019. I got pushed back because we needed to save a little more so we're going to be moving in April. Also, I don't know if I'm going to share this video on YouTube or if I'm going to do a whole series if you guys are interested in my moving process and some of the witchy or magical thoughts um, or ideas. Oh, here comes Loki. I want to incorporate in our move. I will keep posting. I um, will share this and see if it's something I want to keep doing. I will most likely forget. I will be so wrapped up and stressed out I will forget to record anything, but I, I want to. Aaron, my husband, has been such a level-headed, rational, realistic uh, person who, I mean, he's never moved out of state before. Um, so I appreciate his level-headedness and because I am the one who is on Zillow and sees the perfect house daily and wants to put in a bid. <laughs> and he says we need to go first. We need to figure this out. I've never done this before. I moved out here from Pennsylvania in 2012. My cats are knocking things over. Um, but that was somehow easier. Like my ex-husband was already out here. I had helped find our apartment online. I knew we weren't going to be staying out here forever. This was our just like temporary home and we were going to just apartment life it for a while. But now... I'm ready to have space and uh, years ago I thought it was fucking ludicrous to settle down and like buy a house and just stay put. My brothers have both bought houses, my friends were buying houses and I was like what the fuck why would you just want to stay in one place there's so much to see and there is so much to see however for what we are paying now for this tiny place is a month's rent or a month's mortgage payment on like a three bedroom, two acre house. And um, I'd rather have my own space. Aaron and I both have a lot of hobbies. Aaron um, has his motorcycles, his bikes, his carpentry. And all of his tools are outside on our patio. All of his tools. His bike. You can see out. Outside. They're outside. I feel awful that he, his beloved expensive tools have to sit outside. I have all of my hobby stuff. I have uh, my instruments, I have my art stuff, I have my yarn. I just started spinning my own wool and I want a space to do that. And I, I sew, I make blankets and we don't have room. We don't have our passion space is what I'm calling it. Our next big thing since we have the truck, We bought a van. Oh, well, we didn't buy a van. We bought a truck, but we didn't buy a truck. The truck was given to us. We now have a truck. Give me your vote. Is this a van or is this a box truck with this thing that goes up and down in the back? Lift assist. We got one of those. I apologize for the brightness. I wanted to do this video so I can remember everything. It is so bright. So, my husband's father owns a uh, printing company and has gifted us this truck in lieu of our move. Fuck. Um, I've been told it gets seven gallons to the mile. 
seven miles to the gallon. Seven miles to the gallon. And we are going across the country. Don't mind my home in the background. It's my laundry room. We have a truck. This is like the first big step that makes it like pretty real. It's it's been uh, yeah, it's brand, um, a long um, planning process. Look at that white backdrop. Lift assist. We are planning on moving, and um, hopefully all of our things can fit in here. We also have these two vehicles, which I don't know. There's only two of us. I'm not really sure. This is one of my concerns is uh, there's only two of us and we have this big van that will carry our goods, our wares. I'm planning, I'm hoping a friend of ours comes with us. He has said that he's interested in driving cross country with us, but my husband has also said that he wants to maybe sell his truck um, because I'm planning on driving my car with the cats. Um, not sure if both cats or one cat. This is the back of my house. My brain has been running like crazy. Um, I've never done this. I am an uber planner. I plan with my lists and color coordinated and my maps to a T. I like to know where I'm going. I like to know what I'm seeing. I like to know the spreadsheet on snow averages and rain averages and population and crime index and the rating of the town. I have that all listed out. I am fucking nuts. I'm insane. This video is going to be a lot of swearing. Fuck it! Yeah. Aaron is the opposite. Aaron is so just, you were gonna figure it out. We'll just see what we see. We'll just go drive. We'll see where we're gonna go. What the f No! I can't do that. I can't. So we, uh, I made up a map and, uh, I have a list of states. So our next big step, September, 12th through 16th, we are flying to Charlotte, North Carolina, and we are taking a road trip. My map is hopeful. I mean, and this could change. This is very likely could change, and he could say, let's go the other direction, or let's go from, well, we already bought our plane tickets. Oh my God, we bought, so we bought plane tickets to go out here on this trip and a rental car. And so we're gonna go from Charlotte, we're gonna go north a little bit, west, down to down and through uh south carolina and then back up through charlotte and just check out these towns i don't i don't know what i'm supposed to be looking for my mind is racing like all of these how how do we get the cats used to the car do they need to be on a harness should i get a carrying kit it's mostly about the cats right now i'm trying to get odin used to the harness so he's been in and out of the harness. Loki's been in the car. I'm like, do I need to get a calming collar or should I do Benadryl inside a greenies pill packet or should I do calming treats or a diffuser or spray? And that's just what my mind thinks of at night. And the other thing is like, okay, what is the best way to pack? Let me go Pinterest some of these best ways to pack. Okay, you need a car like to go packing thing with your, all your special information and your important stuff and your food and your cleaning and like the stuff you need right away when you get there. I need to take a breath. A lot of our stuff is gonna be easy to find a home for. I really think we could fit it all in the box truck. I'm worried that once this move happens, I'm going to feel like, okay, I'm ready to go home. You know, we'll go do our road trip this fall and then we're gonna move around April once we decide where we like what town we like we'll move find an apartment for a little bit and house hunt while we're out there and part of me is like you might have that feeling of okay I'm ready to go back home I'm ready to go back to the rat hole in California um, and I, I feel like I'll get emotional about leaving I haven't told my bosses yet. I haven't told the girls that I'm going. I'm dreading like having to have that conversation because they take care of me and they're good to me. And yes, I am 
kind of checking myself out bit by bit. Um, my boss knows that we are gonna take a trip. We're gonna take a trip together and that's all I said. I didn't tell her Aaron and I are going to town hunt, basically look at places we may wanna move. Another part of me thinks that I'm really hurting Aaron's family. I feel like I'm pretty in tune with people's emotions and what they say as opposed to what they're really saying and what I'm getting is you're taking him away. Like why are you moving him away from his family? So I guess let me know if this should be a little mini series as we go. Little by little what my thoughts and feelings are, how the packing is going, the search, or if I should just cut it all together in one film or forget it. <laughs> just you don't you don't care to know. I hope it will eventually bring somebody else the information that they're looking for. How to move across the country to a town you've never been to with two cats um, and find a job and find a house and moving in. I hope it brings somebody some information that they need. So by this time next year, Broom Closet will have a new home, hopefully a little closer to the East Coast. And I know a lot of you are out that way too, so maybe our paths will cross then. This is going to be video one of possibly two. If I cut a, cut one big video all close together and then that will air next year when we move or video one of a few that kind of chronicle how we're doing with the moving process. How many times can I say moving process, Loki? I don't know. I am so ready to be Southern. I'm so ready. <laughs> Everybody have a great day. Thank you for joining me and listening to me rant. Um, I know this was kind of a downer. It wasn't a magical one. This is just my thoughts on moving and how much my brain is hurting. Have a wonderful day. Blessed be. Happy Lamas. Fuck yeah!